All right, guys, Simon here with another video. And in this video, we're gonna do a little bit more detailed comparison of who else but Brandon Curry and William Bonac. So we have some amazing, amazing HD photos thanks to Team Andro. And it is probably more accurate to analyze two physiques based on HD photos compared to that video footage that we had from the live stream of Iron Classic uh, YouTube channel that is horrible quality. I don't know, I mean, if any sport should have 4K live stream, that should be bodybuilding. <laughs> Come on, guys, seriously. I don't know why did they do that. Is that really so hard to, to have 4K live stream? I don't think so. I don't know what the hell are they doing. <laughs> if any sport should have that, that's bodybuilding. I mean, let's not even joke about it. But anyways, we have these photos here and let's go through them. Let's start with this one. And no, these photos are not in any particular order, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, let's start with this first front relaxed pose. And here we can see, let's go bottom up. That's how I like to go. Cal's not that important, but they're pretty much equal. Legs, we all know that Bona has better legs than uh, than Brandon, but in this pose, it doesn't really look like that. In the front pose, Brandon ha looks like he has amazing legs because he was actually more conditioned. And at first, I think it prejudging William looked more conditioned, but later something happened, man. I don't know what. He probably carved up properly and dried out a little bit more, and Brandon looked more defined, more conditioned. So legs actually look better on, on Brandon here. As far as stomach goes, Brandon is killing it. He is absolutely annihilating him in that area. And William knows that very well. As far as lats, William's lats are, you know, lower attached, but, but Brandon has much, much more flaring lats. And for that reason, I like that more. As far as chest, uh, Will William's chest is a bit more narrow, actually a lot more narrow. Um, Brandon's chest is just so broad and beautiful, if you, might, if you ask me. Uh, shoulders pretty much close, almost equal, Not, not you can't really see too much of shoulders in this pose and arms are also pretty much similar. Anyways, I give this pose to Brandon by far. Next pose is a front lat spread, one of the most important poses. And here you can see the thing that I said about chest. William's chest looks just somehow awkward and small because of his small frame. Um, stomach, again, same thing as before, arms, also close, I guess shoulders and arms um, together look better on, on Brandon, I would say so, they look bigger, um, the definition is pretty much the same, quads the same as before, they didn't even change their stance, so um, I think this pose is by far won by Brandon. Let's go with the next one, we have back lat spread. This pose is uh, better for William as far as the lower department goes. If you look at the glutes and the legs, they just look much, much bigger on, on Bonac. But as far as this through the, through the upper body, especially through the upper back, Brandon is killing it. He's just so wide. He's too wide. And for that reason, I give this pose completely to him, to Brandon. Yeah, that's right. I mean, maybe... Uh, I mean, back is not that much better on Brandon. And legs are that much better than William. But this is back lat spread. This is not back leg spread. <laughs> this is actually back uh, lat spread. So let's spread those lats and let's show that back. And if you do that, you can see that Brandon is winning. So again, Brandon wins it. Let's go with the next one. And now we have side tricep. Um, here you can see that uh, Brandon is definitely showing better triceps, better arms. Shoulder width, small waist, more, more defined legs, but way more defined. There is so much vascularity and it looks completely dry, like it's just sheer muscle. You don't see any water, any fat, anything. I mean, this is just sheer muscle and skin, and that's it, and a bunch of veins as well. So from that, from this pose, definitely Brandon, once again, and that's pretty much all the poses are won by Brandon so far. Uh, let's proceed to uh, abs and thighs. So again, William is losing this one and he knows that. He knows that. If you watch the video, you could see that when they hit this front, this uh, this pose, I mean, not front, but this is just abs and thighs, and uh, William hits it and he immediately shows his serratus. He just doesn't want to do this pose against Bonac, I'm sorry, against Brandon too, for too long because he knows he, he's killing him because of small waist, you know. 
compared to Williams, who very, very huge and wide waist. And then afterwards, he just, uh, Brandon actually follows him, which is probably something he shouldn't have done, but he knew that he actually wins in this one as well, simply because he can show his small waist even from this pose, actually from this variation of a pose. So again, again, if Brandon is just winning. He's just winning one, one after another. Then we come to a front double bicep. And here you can see, again, same thing. I mean, look at the, the lat to waist ratio. Look at that wheat taper. I mean, compare those wheat tapers. Just compare that. And you can see that Brandon's lats are flaring up like crazy. And look at the triceps on Brandon. I mean, uh, maybe Bonak is showing some more de detail and separation, but the mass, the sheer mass on Brandon's arms is just overwhelming, if you ask me. And uh, as far as legs, very close, very close. I think Brandon is showing a little bit more definition, a little bit more dryness and more vascularity. So for that reason, Brandon win this one as well. I mean, you can't argue with this. Who can tell me that I'm wrong? I mean, this is pretty obvious. It's not even close, actually. It was pretty close at pre-judging, but in the finals, it was, it was clear. And now we get to one pose that William is winning. I mean, at least so far. Uh, this is definitely won by him. I mean, just because of the legs. I don't know if this is a mistake by Brandon, but he's just, uh, his stance is too narrow. This is more like Dorian Yates, and for that reason you can't really see uh, quads from this from this pose. You don't really see flaring quads, like, in, like you can see at Williams. But uh, also, I mean, glutes are showing much more detail on, on Brandon, and actually on William, sorry, and uh, thickness in the back, thickness in the lower back also, also William. So for that reason, William wins this shot. But not by too much, not by too much, only just by little. And yeah, he wins that one. Let's go with the next one. I have side chest or side chest and bicep. And you can see that William's biceps are a bit more peaky, but they are not as round and as long as those of Brandon. It's pretty obvious. Brandon's arms are just more round and full. As far as chest, uh, maybe William is showing a little bit more detail, but Brandon's uh, chest is just wider. And also you can see a little bit of their waist, and um, Brandon of course has smaller waist, that, that is a huge plus for him, gives, me, gives him a good illusion of wide frame. And as far as legs, pretty close, but because of that vascularity and uh, the, the, just the details, I don't know why and how he gets them, but he just has them. And yeah, I could dispose as well to Brandon, but it's close, it is close, I mean, I don't know, just if you look at Brandon... He just has bigger frame, and that's why he draws your eye. But William is also very good. He's very thick. He has a lot of density in this pose. So it's close, it's pretty close, and I'm not sure if I should go with Brandon, but yeah, let's say it's Brandon, this one as well. And now we get to the most muscular, and actually William won the most muscular award. He did not win the competition, but he won the most muscular award because he definitely is packing a whole bunch of muscle on his small frame, which is really impressive. And in this pose, he wins it, he wins it, because he just has so much muscle and it's such a 3D muscle just popping, popping out, I mean, it's just so dense, so thick, there is so much muscle on him and it's really amazing, so I give this pose to him. Also because of legs, legs are also much fuller, much denser, and no, no gaps in his physique, especially in this pose, and in this one as well. Brandon is doing it the same, but William is just uh, doing the crab pose, amazing striations in chest, uh, biceps, bulging, and everything. So yeah, he wins that one, and he wins back double bicep, but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you ask me, Brandon really nailed this competition, and he won. And I'm, I'm happy for that, I was cheering for him, for him, because he really has that beautiful structure for an open guy. Or an open class bodybuilder and I'm actually cheering for him to win uh, in the Mr. Olympia and he has enough time to prepare for it I mean it's amazing what kind of improvements he made only from from Olympia to now uh, imagine what he gonna do now as he is aiming for the biggest title in the world I'm really expecting him to improve a lot and to win the title and tell me what you guys think about it in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video like the video if you want to see more content like this subscribe to my channel all the best, bye bye.